the I want to I'll just keep doing this. Anyways, okay, sorry. Um, oh, where's the back of my head? Okay, so it's okay. <laughs> again behind the middle. What? Now the cat's one outside, and I need another band. Oh, man. I'm back. Sorry about that. Okay. So I still got to let me move this up. <laughs> it's composing me. It's composing. It feels so soft. Oh my gosh. Yeah. <laughs> it works. It's working. Oh my gosh. I. This hair has been years in the making. Years, years, years. Like my senior year, I, I bleached my hair and dyed it red. It was like the last day, I think, for seniors. And I just wanted to do something crazy. And it was really fun. Like it was big and curly, like fire into red. Like my head was on fire. It was awesome. And then I went to, or maybe that was my junior year. No, it was my junior year because um, then I went to regionals in Arizona with my pink. Or yeah, it was like starting to fade to like a red, like a dark pink. And then I went swimming, and then it turned into like pink orange. And then I, and then I shaved it off. That's right. I shaved my head when um, uh, Sasha passed away, my dog. We had to put her down because she had worms and she was the last of the two dogs that I had grown up with. And I just, I still miss her so much. And I just took that as an opportunity to start over start a lot of things over for myself and for my hair i just shaved it all off i went into the bathroom and i just went and my boyfriend at the time he was like standing over there in the doorway like oh my god what are you doing and then i got a lot of compliments like people liked the short hair look i don't know I, I liked it. I, I got used to it. It was it was really different for me. For for me, I've always tried to have like I've I've almost always had at least like shoulder length hair or you know hair long enough to put up in a bun or a ponytail. Like that was my jam, and it still is. Like I I'm so lazy. I just bun ponytail whatever. I don't care. Just, just got to do stuff. Um, so, yeah, like having hair <laughs> so short was really different for me. It was also hot because, like, I can't put it up. And it's like a mini fro. So, but, like, you know, after a while I got used to it. And it was, yeah, I... I <laughs> Made me kind of look like my dad, I feel like, honestly. Just, you know. Because it was so short and it was just buzzed and, you know. 
so so yeah all of this is seven years old yep it was all seven years old it's as old as my nephew oh my gosh my hair is as old as my nephew what is up with that Oh, so scary. Those babies are growing up so fast. Especially like the littlest one. Like the littlest one, she's not even two years old yet. And she's like walking around and like saying some words and stuff and like picking up forks like, I can do this myself. Like she is something else. She's going to be. She's going to hit the ground running. Back to the rules and I hit the ground running. Wouldn't make sense not to live full throttle. Sorry, I'll stop. I'll stop the Smash Mouths. Oh, speaking of Smash Mouth, I don't even know if it, this is, if it was that banned in actuality, but um, when I was 10, my grandparents took me to Disneyland. It was uh, this tradition that they had where they would take 10 year old members of the family and take them to di their first trip to Disneyland. I, I know we have footage around here somewhere and it, it's, uh, anyways, so yeah, we went to, um, Disneyland and there was this band that was playing outside and, you know, I was 10. I can't remember the band. I can't remember what song it was, but I loved it. So I started dancing because that's what I do. I dance. Doesn't matter if no one else is dancing. I will start the party. And <laughs> so like I'm dancing. I'm not paying attention to anyone. I'm so in my own world. And then all of a sudden I see like more and more people kind of watching me dance. And then all of a sudden there's like this huge, like the people that were there to watch the band had, sorry, there's a towel right there, had encircled me. <laughs> and like I'm dancing in the middle of the circle da, 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 and like the band is like yeah get it do it yes having a good time having the best time of my life I want to say it was Smash Mouth but I can't remember anyways so yeah <clears throat> yeah we've got <clears throat> they brought um like a you know, VHS recorder, because <laughs> it's uh, 2002. <laughs> like, I mean, it's 2002. Digital cameras are a thing. We just didn't have one. We just had my grandma. I don't know if that's my grandma and grandpa's VHS recorder. But yeah, I did like a fashion show before the trip. I remember that uh, with my skorts. All the skorts. Oh my gosh, I want to go back to Disneyland. That was the only time I've been to Disneyland. And then I just see, like, Gang Grumps go to Disneyland all the time. So jealous. So jelly. That's what you get for living in California. Like, you can just go to Disneyland. Like, it's just right there. Um, I remember too, um, I went on the Indiana Jones ride with, uh, my grandparents and I got really scared and I closed my eyes like the whole time. So that's another reason why I really want to go back. Like I want to, like it was the snake part. I was like, ah, no, mm -mm, I'm good. I'm done. Thank you. Okay. Thanks. Bye. Where's the exit? <laughs> So yeah, I really want to go back to just really take in all of the things that I did back then, as well as, you know, of course, see the new stuff. I don't know what kind of crazy stuff they do at Disneyland. I haven't even seen the parades or, you know, crazy shows or anything like that. I, I also really, really, 
really am dying to go to Hogwarts. Ah, uh, ah, uh, that's my life. I want a wand and a cloak and a cauldron and books, mostly books, like wand and books and cloak. Yeah, <laughs> maybe a cauldron, <laughs> but definitely this. Yeah, there's so many different places. I wish I could go. Everybody's like that. Right? <laughs> oh, man. You know, this is just kind of what I'm doing today. That and, you know, Putting in applications. Ugh, I am so ready for this summer. Like, Dawn, Martin, Sharita, the beautiful Gaia Light Orchestra family. I need to love. I do. I really do. I also need another big ass road trip like we did. Like, um, I, 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 I haven't, you know, done the musician road trip before until I went with Martin and Sharita and like, not going to lie. It was so, it was a huge learning curve for me. It was huge. I, oh, it was so stressful for me just because like I'm really really used to you know schedules and like being somewhere at a certain time and you know having every little detail planned out to the exact minute or uh, as much as you can you know and with Martin and Sharita we just kind of go with the flow so yeah that was that definitely took some getting used to is going with the flow and just in life in general, like going with the flow is not, I, I, I just can't. I'm so, I, like I have to be doing something. That's why not having a job and being in this house is so like maddening for me. I'm just like, walking around back and forth fidgeting no one to talk to nothing to do really except for you know apply for work and yeah i'm just trying to kind of i guess i don't know entertain myself keep myself company i don't know do some videos try and do some creative stuff been trying to think of like different kinds of videos. I I don't know. I don't know what I should. I want I want to talk about stuff. I don't know what kind of stuff I want to talk about. For sure, art. Um, I was kind of thinking about actually doing some art news potentially because um with the crazy crap that's happening on YouTube, you know, YouTube TV, partnering with all those big corporations and TV, you know, is up the, all up in their feelings. I'm all up in their own ass because YouTube and internet is beating TV because TV mostly sucks. Not all of it, but mostly. And the internet is the future, and in the future, something will replace the internet because that's how things work. Things change, things evolve. And of course, the car corporations don't want to. Um, but yeah, that and the, yeah, just ad revenue and all that stuff it's affected a lot of YouTubers. So, uh, um, sorry, the whole point of this. I, I, I low-key turned it into a rant against corporations. I'm sorry. 
Um, but with all of these different things that have been happening to YouTube, there's been like a huge, 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 huge influx in patrons on Patreon. Um, I follow a lot of uh, political um, YouTube channels, uh, Tim Black, Secular Talk, uh, Humanist Report, Jimmy Dore, um, a lot. Um, and I actually just recently saw uh, Philip DeFranco. It, it, I, I recently just watched Philip DeFranco's video about Patreon. And again, another big, big, big increase in patrons over at patreon.com. And I've been like kind of stalking like their Facebook, Twitter, like all of their accounts. Like I want to see those numbers so bad like the date that the ads were um the 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 date when demonetization started for like these uh different news channels the date when youtube tv was initiated and then like the date when philip defranco uh, released his video like I want to see the numbers of like the increase of patrons like I think that's so interesting and like I'm so excited for patreon because it's getting so much attention because it allows um, it, it's an it's another tool for youtubers to be able to make the kind of content that they want without having to worry about how they're going to pay their bills with and still make content that they can be proud of without, you know, selling out or saying stuff that they don't believe in. And YouTube used to be that they used to be the separation between ads, like ad, uh, advertisers and creators. And now we need another tool again to keep us apart from ad advertisers and corporations who just want to see internet entertainment die and so and like they've been working like patreon's been around for a, a while like honestly it took me a while to find the website because like um uh my friend jake he does he makes web comics modest medusa he's also on patreon jake richmond just a little shout out right there. Um, he's like, yeah, you use this website. It's called patron.com. And I was like, patron? Pa pa patron? And so I looked up patron. I was like, I'm not finding it. Like, it's patron, right? Like, oh, I think it's Patreon. It took me a while to find it. But once I did, I was like, oh, my gosh, this is great. I still I don't like, the, you know, you can do rewards and things like that. I don't really have any rewards because I barely even have a video schedule to begin with. <laughs> Seriously. <laughs> like, I need to work on that. Like, there's quite a few things that I need to work on. But yeah, and also they haven't done um, a YouTube or a, um, a Patreon hang time and oh, like, not since I want to say January, December or January. It's been a few months. I think it's because of like this, like so many different things that's changed. And of course the election, like I've seen them doing like this uh, campaign, you know, for the arts to support the national endowment for the arts. Cause of course they want to get rid of any sort of contributions to the arts. Because it's not like we listen to fucking Nicki Minaj or any other artist on the radio all the time. But, you know, independent artists. What? No. Art is dead. No, I'm going to go watch Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> I'm being so, being so messed up right now. I just... Oh, that that uh, irks me so much. It irks. It irks me. It really grinds my gears. Um, 
that people, some, some people, not all people, some people want to give their money to fabulous people and celebrities and who, and, and, and not help out independent artists who are not in the same situation as these celebrities and fabulous people making all their money off the dirty little people. Dirty little people, dirty little people, giving all their money to the fabulous people. Whoa, whoa, whoa. That's an electric six song because I'm obsessed with them. I'm low key stalking them a little. I actually, <laughs> I actually have this idea for a tattoo. It doesn't go with any of my music tattoos, but the it's um it's an electric six lyric that just speaks to me so much. It's um, Satan destroys you, but Jesus puts you in a bowl and smokes you. I was like, oh my god, so beautiful. It's so true. And so I don't know. I had this idea of like kind of stick figure or, you know, bathroom stick figure kind of style of like uh, Satan, like lasering a guy to death or something, or destroying him, blowing him up. And then, yeah, literally Jesus with a pipe with like a guy's head and arm sticking out like, eh. <sighs> <sighs> Doesn't go with any of my tattoos. It's just an idea. And I think it's the coolest. <laughs> I probably will get it one of these days. Like, I don't give a fuck. Electric Six is my life. And it's still music themed. It's just not symbols. It's symbolism. Ah! So deep and pretentious. Oh man, am I almost done? Please tell me I'm almost done. Here, what's left? Oh man, yeah, my roots are like really, really tangled. So that's why I'm doing this. I'm gonna put them back in. That's why I have this huge old pile of hair just sitting right in front of my laptop or tablet. Da, 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 da. Oh man. Yeah, um, in terms of making content, one of the things that I struggle with is where to live stream. Yeah. Oh, pardon me. Like, should I do Instagram, Facebook, YouTube? I like Instagram live stream. I think it's really cool that you can save your videos and whatnot. I had to move so much stuff off of my phone onto my SD card so that I could save the video. Like, it would be really great if they could make it an option that you can save the video to your SD card instead of your phone. You could do that, Instagram. And I'm gonna need that done by Saturday. So if you could do that, that would be great. But yeah, so I'm I'm trying the Facebook also because like I know these videos are going to be super long so I can't like save it onto my phone. It would just be way too much if I tried to do it on Instagram. But I will save these videos and then put them, throw them up on YouTube so they will be there as well. And it'll just be a two-parter. I like this actually, two-parter, because it's not like an hour, but it's not like my five minute videos, you know, <laughs> like it's a, it's, it's considerable, it's a considerably longer video without it being an hour. And I actually like, yeah, I 
and I had to split it up because my because Nick called me but it actually worked out because now I have two 30 minute videos instead of one one hour video I like that honestly I'm running out of things to say I'm sorry Mm. Yeah, this is also a really good practice for me to just be in front of the camera and all that. Um, yeah, the sun is out more. I need to do more, um, more outside videos of twirling and juggling and all that. Those. Those seem to do pretty well on my channel. That makes me happy. Um, I was thinking about doing, you know, like, ugh, eh, <laughs> tutorial videos, like, on different, um, like, you know, baton, uh, contact juggling, maybe juggling. Yeah, just to, just to teach people how to do some from circus arts. I mean, I already teach kids. I teach on Mondays. That's really fun. I've missed teaching. I've missed working, like, at all. <laughs> I remember I came in the first day, it was like last week, and everybody is just dead tired. All the kids are just crazy. And yeah, all of the adults are just like, Ugh. and I come in and I'm like, hey, oh, I'm so excited to be here. Hey guys, how's it going? Like, <laughs> I'm, I was probably annoying for some people. Like, not gonna lie. Like, ugh, get that bubbly, energetic energy out of here. The kids already have too much <laughs> of that. We don't need an adult with all of that too. <laughs> Oh, man. <clears throat> Ooh, it's pretty, too. It's all twist-outy. I really like it. But it's all knotted up and tangled, so that's not what we're doing today. We're going to detangle in the shower. Yay. Oh. I do want to see what it looks like after I take it all out. I mean, before I detangle, like just to see what the twist out looks like. This was like, yeah, this was my first attempt with the twists. I had to reduce, I, I did reduce some of them, but it was just way too hard to try and detangle like some of my hair and keep the rest of it like in its braids. And now like I just have loose like strands just coming out of my twists too. Like it's actually unraveling in some places. So I was just like, okay, well, clearly you're done with this right now. Let's just like, yeah, I've got all of this hair coming out. And it's like, it's like, yeah, let's just, let's just do it all again. Do it all over again. Okay, three more. Yeah. What else happened in Disneyland? Oh, we went to Not Sperry Farm. Oh, I love that place. It's so fun. And Snoopy. Oh, I love Snoopy. And the princesses, of course, can't go to Disneyland without seeing the princesses. <sighs> I was so excited to see um, Ariel. I really want to see um, what's-her-face now from uh, Princess and the Frog. Like, 
that would be my jam now. Like, ah! Of course, I can't remember her name right now. So bad at names. Whether it's movies, especially anime. Oh my god, don't even, don't even try and go with there with me. I can't remember any names at all. Yeah, there we go. Okay. Eee. And oh, this is the last one. Okay. Um, last topic. Last topic. Go, go, go. Uh, uh. Oh crap. I I, I got nothing. Uh. Well, whatever. It's fine. I'm done. For just about. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, look at all that. Like, that is not even braided or twisted into it. So, yeah. Okay. There we go. All right. And. Ooh. Yeah. Ooh. Ooh. Mmm. That's interesting. That's different. Oh, and it's longer. It's getting longer. I bet if I untangle it, it will be even longer. Oh, no, no, no. If you have any suggestions, or, you know, anything you would like to see me make videos about or talk about. Ooh, trying to get to the garbage can. Stick all that hair in there. Um, you know, comment down below. Let me know. I would really appreciate some suggestions because right now I am completely out of ideas. It's all moisturized. Um... Speaking of Patreon, I do have a Patreon, patreon.com, Linda Rose. Um, anything helps, four quarters a month would help so much. Um, One dollar, you know, two dollars, whatever, just to support, um, you know, independent work where we don't have to, you know, BS you and try to make advertisers and big businesses happy like we can just make what we want and make things that you like to watch and we like to make um but if you if it's too much of a financial burden if it if that one dollar is the difference between you and paying bills or getting food or you know don't don't give me money then just if you're in a difficult financial situation i don't i don't want your money is no good here I don't want it. I don't want to put you in that situation. Um, you can just, you know, subscribe to my YouTube channel, uh, youtube.com slash Belinda Rose Circus Artist. And that's totally free. You don't even have to push the bell notification. You don't even have to watch my videos. Just <laughs> that would be better, actually, <laughs> at this point right now than donating to my Patreon, actually, because I have, like, 15 subscribers. I did get three. I'm super proud of myself for, or no, wait. No, it went from 13 to 16. That's right. So I feel really proud of myself for that. So yeah, just forget about Patreon right now. Just, just subscribe to my channel. That's all that I really want. Anyways, love you guys. I gotta wash this in the shower. Bye.